to my channel my name is Imam I hope you guys are good I just wanted to talk to you guys just a quick little chat today about peace and unity you know yeah so the Bible verse I want to talk about today is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 it says endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace so this is referring to people who are Christians already um, and I just wanted to say that disagreements arguments all that stuff is quite normal um, however, the Spirit of God wants us to have peace and unity and it's quite hard sometimes for us to do that, especially when we have pride in our hearts and we kind of want to be right. Um, we have our own thoughts, our own opinions and we want to voice those opinions out and when other people don't agree with us it tends to lead to an argument or a disagreement. Our flesh craves one thing, our spirit craves another thing, you know, the spirit wants us to have peace and unity but the flesh one strive and everything that goes against the word of god so what do we do about it when there's disagreement this applies to our family our friends our partners our co-workers all of that okay so paul said that he died daily and what does that mean so to die daily it means to basically die to your flesh our flesh as i said earlier wants to strive against the spirit our flesh wants us to argue with people our flesh wants us to disagree with people our flesh just doesn't want that peace and unity our flesh causes pride to rise up um and just doesn't want peace but our spirit craves peace an example would be um so i have a different opinion to this person this person has another opinion to me and it's perfectly fine to have different opinions and it's okay to voice it but the problem comes when we keep going back and forth back and forth so we take jesus as our example um and we take a look at how jesus dealt with these issues uh, and this can be found in isaiah chapter 53 verse 7 where it says he was oppressed and afflicted yet he did not open his mouth he was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. So this is a prophecy, but obviously it came to pass where Jesus was basically led like a lamb, which was going to be slaughtered. And he was silent, so Jesus had done absolutely nothing wrong, but he stayed silent. He didn't bother arguing or even disagreeing with um, those people. And we learn that, you know, from Jesus, from Jesus's example, we're kind of meant to lead that same life as well so this is something that i'm trying to implement in my life and i'm trying to practice that it's best to just say sorry um even when you've done nothing wrong just so that there's peace because the bible says that we need to endeavor we need to push pursue peace okay we have to try and keep the peace and keep the unity and the way that you do that is to die to your flesh you have to literally just forget about yourself forget about your pride put your pride down and just say you know what i'm sorry for for um i don't know whatever it is that you're sorry for even if you're not in the wrong just be the one to apologize first be the one to say sorry because we have to follow the example of christ if we call ourselves christians we have to basically do what jesus taught us to do what he did is that he killed his flesh when he did nothing wrong he just silently stood there so in the face of oppression just want to encourage you to die to your flesh um in the face of arguments and disagreements and fights i want to encourage you to die to your flesh and this is going to be very helpful for people who are in relationships um when your partner when you're disagreeing with your partner and you want to be right but your partner also wants to be right one person has to give up okay one person just has to be like you know what i'm sorry so i, th I think it's i think it's a great lesson that would be very useful to everyone is that we need to die to our flesh we need to kill it <laughs> and if you would like peace to reign you have to forget about yourself okay you have to put others before yourself yeah that's really it for the video i uh, i hope it's short as i wanted it to be but just remember to endeavor to keep the peace endeavor to keep that unity um and endeavor to spread the love of jesus so that other people can see the light of god that is within you and that will come when 
you have peace with other people that will come when you're showing love to others and you're dying to your flesh and not wanting to be right all the time because you don't need to be right all the time so yeah i hope that blessed you i hope that encouraged you um and yeah i hope you guys have a great day have a wonderful day stay blessed love you lots bye